Welcome everyone to the University of Montana in beautiful Missoula. Montana's flagship research university offers an impressive array of programs, facilities, and exceptional experiential learning opportunities. The University of Montana acknowledges that we are in the Aboriginal territories of the Salish and Kalispell people. Today, we honor the path they have always shown us in caring for this place for the generations to come. Nestled in the heart of Western Montana, this mountain campus spans 56 acres at the base of Mount Sentinel along the Clark Fork River. But students at the University of Montana consider the entire state their classroom. I'm your host, Alex Boylan, and over the next hour, we're gonna show you all of it. You'll meet students from across the US and the world who are maximizing their Montana experience and hear their stories of exploration, academic achievement, and adventure. Is an education under the big sky right for you? This episode will open your eyes to the ways a UM education can connect you and your career goals and deliver opportunities to change the world. Welcome to the University of Montana. This is the College Tour. Let's get to it, y'all ready? We have Arwen on deck. Arwen is from Idaho, but she has deep roots in Montana and a special connection to the university. Arwen is studying musical theater and English literature. And when she's not in class, you'll find her outdoors soaking up all the outdoor recreation Western Montana has to offer. Take it away, Arwen. Thank you, Alex, and hello, everyone. Welcome to Montana. This is where my grandparents met, and I am happy to share my perspective on the University of Montana as a third-generation student. I always knew that I wanted to be a performer and a writer. When I toured campus, I learned that UM offers creative challenges and intellectual opportunities and a deeply connected community. At the School of Theater and Dance, I performed in five theater productions, helped write musicals, tried my hand at opera, taken dance classes and performed my own choreography, and got to learn from seasoned professionals. UM is also home to the Montana Repertory Theater, a professional touring company that offers hands-on experiences for students. Here at UM, I've also had the chance to connect my interest in ecology with my major in literature, taking classes like eco-criticism and exploring the environmental humanities. Some of my poetry and photos were even published in UM's literary magazine, The Oval. So, if you want a blend of arts and culture and outdoor recreation like this, Missoula is the place for you. We enjoy hiking, skiing, backpacking, rock climbing, kayaking. You can hike up Mount Sentinel to watch the sunset or drive just 10 minutes to Paddy Canyon or the Rattlesnake Recreation Area. There are tons of hot springs in the area and huge swaths of public lands. Or you can just walk down to the Clark Fork and enjoy an evening paddle or swim. The University of Montana has helped me make strides in my chosen field of study and has helped me clarify the kind of person I want to be. I don't have to choose between the arts and ecology or between a thriving city center and a connection to Western wilderness. It's all here at my back door, literally. Back to you, Alex. Wow, Arwen, musical theater and kayaking, you really know how to make the best of your time here at the University of Montana. Thanks for showing us what it's like being a student at UM. Arwen, it sure seems like you found a special place here in Missoula. That was amazing. Now we're heading over to University of Montana law student, Alex, who came here for the exceptional program and fell in love with the campus life in the city of Missoula. He's gonna tell us what it's like to be a Grizz. That's what these students are known as. And give us our first view of life on campus. Thanks, Alex, and love the name. So, after finishing my undergraduate degree in Ohio, I moved out west and never looked back. Surrounded by beautiful mountains and mere hours away from incredible national parks, Missoula is the perfect place to call home. Finding Missoula was a pure stroke of luck. Situated midway between Yellowstone National Park, where I met my future wife, 
and Glacier National Park, truly the most beautiful place in the lower 48. Missoula just made sense. And the fact that there's a world-class university here just made it all the better. As the flagship university in the state of Montana, UM brings together students passionate about critical thinking, problem solving, social justice, hard sciences, and the arts, and provides a community where they can bond, learn, and grow. And with alumni ranging from Montana Supreme Court justices to Senator Mike Mansfield, you can rest assured that your future goals are within reach with an education from the University of Montana. Being a part of the University of Montana community offers ample benefits like attending lectures, art exhibits, and nationally touring concerts. Hearing U.S. Poet Laureate Joy Harjo read her own work in person was as easy as walking across campus to hear her speak. Movies on the Oval, basketball games, local bands, it's all happening here on the UM campus. Thanks, Alex. Who's next? Thanks, Alex. We are off to a great start. Finding the right place to pursue your goals is so important. It's impressive that you can balance your law studies with the vibrant campus life and find time to enjoy all that Montana has to offer. That was fantastic. Thanks again, Alex. Now we're gonna hear from an inspiring UM student on how she combines dancing, research, and academics to create a unique experience at UM. Andy does advanced research and is a member of the UM dance team, which performs at Grizzly Athletic Events. Take it away. Thanks, Alex. Hi, y'all. Being born and raised in Montana, I have great love for the outdoors and the interconnectedness of the Big Sky State. When the time came for me to begin looking at schools, I knew I needed a combination of high quality education, fresh air, and a close knit community. The University of Montana is the perfect fusion of these traits. The university and the state of Montana make quality education accessible in a beautiful area. I am honored with the distinction of Presidential Leadership Scholar Class of 2024 in the Davidson Honors College. Through my honors section of Genetics and Evolution, I was provided with the opportunity to join Dr. Douglas Emlin's research lab on campus. While getting research experience as a freshman is nearly unheard of at most schools, it's pretty common here at UM. In the Emlin Lab, I am one of four undergraduates that study rhinoceros beetle behavior. Through individual projects, I have worked with cutting edge technology using techniques new to the science realm. This hands-on learning is applicable to many of my studies, now and in my future. One of the many things that the University of Montana prides itself in is making sure its students are well-rounded. I'm a member of the University of Montana's dance team that cheers on the football, volleyball, and both men's and women's basketball teams. Grizz Nation support runs wide and deep. It is a very special part of my University of Montana experience. No matter what you study or where you're from, the University of Montana feels like home. The connections I continue to make with my peers and professors confirms that being a Grizz was the best decision for my future. That's all I've got. Back to you, Alex. Andy, that was amazing. Thank you for sharing all that you're passionate about. And now I know what a rhino beetle is. It's impressive you have the opportunity to serve as undergraduate researcher in a nationally renowned biology lab while creating some serious grizz spirit in your community as a dancer. That was fantastic. Take care, Andy. Okay, let's head over to the Payne Family Native American Center to meet Zachariah. Zachariah has a passion for native language and culture, and he helps organize UM student-run powwow. Take it away, Zachariah. Kitsik sima aksik si Alex. Oki, the stuni dana kisami si pisto. Ni tok 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 skate sa tapi nukuai itonya pi nete tapi iteka tawo. Thank you, Alex. Hello, my name is Sami Sipistu. I'm Blackfeet. I'm from Browning, Montana, and I reside here in Missoula. I'm a fourth year student here at the University of Montana, double majoring in Native American Studies and Anthropology. I'm also the vice president of the Kiao Club here on campus. I came to the University of Montana to find something I love doing and something I could bring back to help the people in my community. It started at Bear Fair. 
the place where campus clubs come out to recruit new students for their organizations, and that's where I found American Indian Student Services, or AISS. I met people who showed me around the AISS office and the Payne's Family Native American Center. They helped me connect with resources and people around campus. I wanted to get more involved, and that's when I started a work study in the AISS office, helping others if they had questions and doing my best to create a safe and home-like feeling for new Native Grid students. My classes in Native American Studies have helped me learn more about Indigenous histories, cultures, and languages, not only of my own, but of other cultures too. In addition to helping me learn and understand myself, it also motivates me to help others who don't have access to these things that connect us to family and the history that wasn't taught in most classes. Language is a gift. It has to be spoken and protected so that it lasts for the next generations to come. Thank you and see y'all later. Back to you, Alex. Thanks, Zachariah. It's really special to hear your native language spoken. What a beautiful dialect. It's clear that UM strives to provide a supportive community for native students. They could not do it without the student leaders like you. UM is very lucky to have you. Take care. Let's head over to meet Cam and learn more about the Grizz athletic experience. In addition to 15 intercollegiate sports teams that compete at the top of Division I, the University of Montana offers a wide range of club sports and intramural programs. This campus community loves supporting one another on the field and in the stands. Let's hear your story, Cam. Thanks, Alex. I play goalkeeper for the University of Montana women's soccer team, and I'm so excited to tell you about what it means to be a Montana Grizzly. From the excitement surrounding the Grizz-Cat rivalry to the passionate fan base that fills the stands of South Campus Stadium, UM Athletics adds so much to our tight-knit community. I always knew that I wanted to continue playing soccer after high school. So when it came time to choosing a university, the most important thing for me was to find a place where I could compete at a high level while also enjoying my surroundings. When looking at my options for the next four years, the University of Montana was an easy choice. On my first visit to campus, I knew that this would be my new home. UM offers solid academics, great community support, and the opportunity to compete with the strongest athletes in the game. The Grizz Athletics community is something special. In our world-class training facilities, you'll see team members from every sport supporting one another. We are 15 teams united in one goal, to be the best of the best and to make Grizz Nation proud on and off the field. Whether you're playing intercollegiate, club, or intramural sports, athletics at UM provides a sense of purpose, connection, and pride for our campus community. Some of the best memories I've made with my Grizzly family have been in competition or cheering on my friends. Representing Grizz Nation has been the greatest honor of my life, and I'm so proud to call the University of Montana home. Go Grizz, and back to you, Alex. We're cheering you and all the Grizz teams on, Cam. And by the way, the Grizz soccer team makes regular appearances at the Big Sky Conference Championships. Thanks for sharing your story and giving us a view of life as an athlete at the University of Montana. Good luck this season, and go Grizz. Living on campus is one of the most impactful parts of the college experience, and that's definitely true at the University of Montana. More than a thousand students call the UM campus their home. Josh is one of those students. In fact, he's a resident assistant in Knowles Hall. Here's Josh to tell us how living on campus enriches the student experience at UM. Thanks for that warm welcome, Alex. Growing up in Colorado, I had a huge family and school community to encourage me. And I was hesitant to move all the way up here to Montana. But when I visited, the city of Missoula and the campus community really welcomed me. And I felt like I was home. I oversee the living learning communities for the Davidson Honors College in Knowles Hall as a resident assistant, or RA. Living in close proximity to so many new people can be intimidating. But with the help of our great RAs, we build community around every student. Being able to step out of your room and see a familiar face or have a comforting conversation with your RA is what UM is all about. We can't recreate home, but we will do everything we can to create a home for you. 
Living on campus puts you right in the middle of all campus activities, allowing you to really get out and explore all that UM has to offer. Here in the residence halls, you are just steps away from sporting events, clubs, social activities, and cultural events. It's easy to meet up with friends and hang out at the Oval or at the University Center. Whether it's grabbing a snack, attending events, or going to club meetings. By living on campus, I have developed hundreds of relationships with fellow Grizzlies. And no matter your major, your hometown, or your background, you will find your place here on the campus of University of Montana. And now, back to you, Alex. Awesome, Josh. It's really cool to hear how you were so warmly welcomed into the campus community at UM and how now you're providing that kind of community for the next class of incoming students as an RA. Thanks for showing us around the residence halls. Take care. Next, we're going to catch up with Alex. Alex is a senior majoring in sociology and minoring in women's gender and sexuality studies. They grew up a few hours away in Pullman, Washington, and they're going to share with us how they became involved in student government and Greek life at UM. Alex, over to you. From one Alex to another, hey everyone. I've spent my college years getting involved and enjoying our campus community. Growing up, both my parents have PhDs, so they wanted me to focus on getting a positive college experience rather than one specific thing about a university. When I toured UM, I felt so comfortable on campus and I liked all the social and academic options, so Montana became my new home. The first thing I wanted to do on campus was get involved in student government. I started as a student senator and I had the opportunity to learn all about the inner workings here. I also became a member of Greek Life and it's the best decision I've ever made. UM is all about growing students as people, both in and outside of the classroom and getting involved is a great way to do that. Through ASUM, I learned about collaboration, civic duty and how just one person can make really big changes. Through Greek Life, I learned how to be a part of a community. We give back to both campus and Missoula through our philanthropy events. My house held events for the local Humane Society and YWCA, and I learned how good it feels to support a cause you care about. With everything I've learned in my courses and through student government in Kappa, I know I'll be successful after graduation. I've already made connections in fields I'm interested in, and I've learned that I don't have to focus on just one thing. I'm passionate about a lot of things, and I have the confidence to follow those passions wherever they lead me. I'm so happy I chose UM, and I'm so excited to continue making the most out of my final year. What's next, Alex? Alex, thank you for that passionate insight. At large, flagship universities like UM, there are numerous opportunities to get involved. Student government and Greek life are great ways for students to develop leadership skills while meeting new friends that can last a lifetime. Great job, Alex. Take care. I don't know about you, but this is the point in the episode where I start to get a little hungry. Luckily, there's no shortage of delicious, nutritious, and sustainable food options at the University of Montana. Sophomore John is here to tell us more about the dining scene on campus and in Missoula. Thank you, Alex. What's up, everyone? Like many of you, choosing a college was a tough decision for me. But in the end, the accolades earned by UM's Business College convinced me to come to this beautiful campus. Of course, another attractive feature about UM and Missoula is the food scene. I have found so many great dining options both on and off campus. The University Center Dining Hall has some of the most diverse food options, including my favorite, Big Sky Burgers. Off campus, my favorite lunch place is a Brazilian grill called Five on Black which was actually started by a UM alum. And for breakfast, my personal favorite is a little burrito shop called The Breakfast Club, which easily has my vote for best breakfast in Missoula. Another great thing about the university is its commitment to sustainability through the use of compostable dishware and an impressive garden. Each year, we grow 3,000 pounds of food, which we eat through university dining or our catering services. The best part is when we have more food than we need, 
we give it back to the community. And if you're ever on campus, you have to come visit our garden's ducks. The two best ducks in my opinion are Poppy and Duckleberry Finn. Let's face it, you're going to be spending a lot of time on campus and you need great food to fuel your studies and activities. While there are many great reasons to come to the University of Montana, the good food is just the icing on the cake. See what I did there? Back to you, Alex. <laughs> Good one, John. I'm impressed with the dining options on campus and the ways UM incorporates sustainability into their food service. And that's also true of the restaurant scene here in Missoula, which I am loving, by the way, especially that Brazilian grill. This is clearly a community that values delicious food and sustainable practices. Thanks again. Now let's head over to meet up with Abby. She combines a passion for social justice alongside an art major with a concentration in ceramics. You are on. I'm excited about this one. Please take it away. Thanks, Alex. I'm from Missoula, Montana. I went to Big Sky High School here in Missoula, and I ended up choosing the University of Montana because it was close and it was affordable, and they had a great arts program. While I was in high school, I remember going on a trip to the university to check out their arts department, and we checked out the ceramics department. We also checked out the painting and drawing. And while I was there, I remember looking at Trey Hill's chicken project, and I was already coming up with ideas for what I would do when I came to school here. I'm an arts major with a focus in ceramics. One of my favorite parts about the ceramics program is my professors. They really push you to focus on the intentionality of what you turn in. I'm the president of the Black Student Union. We have been around since the 1970s, and our mission is to cultivate a space for black and brown students here on campus. The Black Student Union also holds a Black Solidarity Summit every year in February. Here at the UC, we have the Branch Center, and that's a dedicated physical space for diverse groups, including black and brown student groups and also LGBTQ spaces as well. Although the University of Montana is a predominantly white institution, as president of the Black Student Union here on campus, I would like to be able to cultivate a space and find more black and brown students to be able to join us so we can continue to support and encourage each other. As a sophomore at the University of Montana, I've gotten the chance to be able to take on a lot of responsibility. And that's been a little nerve wracking, but also very exciting. And I'm hopeful for the future as well. That's it from me, Alex. Back to you. What a story, so impressive, great job, and thank you for taking part of the college tour. Let's meet Nate. Nate is a senior majoring in business finance. Before enrolling at the University of Montana, Nate served our nation in the military and continues to do so with the ROTC Grizzly Battalion and Nate is gonna tell us more about his experience as a student veteran. Nate, please take it away. Thank you, Alex, and hello, everyone. Growing up, I knew pretty early on that I wanted to serve my country and leverage all the education and opportunities for adventure that the United States military has to offer. Today, I have served in the United States military for over 10 years in a variety of roles, and it has benefited my life more than I ever could have imagined. About two years ago, my wife and I moved here from Indiana to Missoula, Montana, with the goal of experiencing all the great outdoor adventures Western Montana has to offer. I also moved here with the goal of finishing up my degree in business finance. The GI Bill, along with the Army ROTC program here at the University of Montana, will ultimately allow me to graduate completely debt-free. Once I do graduate in the fall of 2021, I will commission into the Army National Guard with the state of Montana, where I will continue to serve my community and further my civilian career. I highly recommend the University of Montana to veterans and those who would like to serve our nation's military. UM offers a multitude of degrees that often appeal to veterans, such as forestry and conservation, wildlife biology, nursing, and business degrees. The ROTC Grizzly Battalion is also an exceptional program that will undoubtedly propel anyone forward in their military and civilian goals. And Missoula offers some endless and diverse outdoor experiences. Some of my favorites are the great hunting and fishing opportunities. During the summer, my wife and I love camping, fishing, trail running, and enjoying all of Montana's many great lakes and rivers. 
I am forever grateful to the University of Montana, the Army ROTC Grizzly Battalion, and the great state of Montana for all the wonderful experiences and lessons learned. Now, back to you, Alex. Nate, thank you for your continued service. ROTC provides students with the opportunity to serve in the military while also having that traditional university experience. For students looking for help paying for college, the Grizzly Battalion provides a great educational benefit. Thanks again, Nate. It's time to hop across the river and visit Missoula College. This building opened in 2017 and houses academic programs that specialize in workforce training. Let's meet Jessie, a nursing student who found her calling and flourished with support from the Missoula College community. everyone, thanks for the introduction and welcome to the Missoula College River Campus. Like most new college students, I needed some time to figure out what I really wanted to study. So I started out here at Missoula College taking my general education credits. After taking many classes, I clicked with nursing and soon I'll enter the RN program here. I love the fact that Missoula College offers a smaller learning environment. It's made me more comfortable asking questions in class. And Missoula College is different too because the goal here is to prepare you for a successful career, not just obtain a degree. We're inviting and supportive of students from all backgrounds. I'm a single mother and the support and encouragement I've received here is what has allowed me to accomplish my goals. Students are also encouraged to take advantage of the workforce training that's available here. There's hands-on learning opportunities in multiple different programs, including construction and industrial trades, healthcare, information technology, social sciences, business, legal studies, and culinary arts. There's actually an amazing restaurant run by the culinary students here in Missoula College, and it's one of my favorite places for a quick meal between classes. At Missoula College, you can access all of the same services that students on the main campus receive, including on-campus living, attending athletic games, and even taking a couple classes at the main UM campus every semester. It's a great value. This campus is one of my favorite places. I spend most of my time in the anatomy lab or studying or socializing at one of the desks overlooking the river, or even enjoying a nice walk outside in between classes. It's a great mental break to prepare you for your next class. Thanks everyone, back to you, Alex. Thanks for that inside look into Missoula College. Jesse, good luck with nursing school. The University of Montana offers such a variety of educational pathways for students from all walks of life. This certainly is a very special place to attend college. Okay, everyone, let's meet with a UM student who traded oceans for mountains. Kennedy works in campus gardens and labs to lessen UM's carbon footprint and emerge as a leader in environmental sustainability. Growing up in Hawaii, Kennedy developed a deep passion for protecting the natural environment. At UM, you can find her working to create a more sustainable future for her community. Aloha, Alex. I've always enjoyed spending time outside, whether in the beaches or tropical forests of Kailua or in the mountains and valleys of Montana. I've traveled to Montana every summer since I was 11, and after spending so much time exploring outside, I knew that I wanted to come here after high school. I chose to study environmental studies and sustainability science because I deeply value the environment. And I also believe that everyone should have the opportunity to explore while breathing clean air and drinking clean water. The University of Montana has taken strides to better the planet in multiple ways. The first is by creating opportunities for students to learn both inside and outside the classroom through experiential learning. The campus has also invested in sustainable practices through their gardening programs, solar panel installations, electric buses, and more than 10 student groups focused on sustainability. UM also converts 24% of waste into recycling and compost. While I always believe there's room to improve, UM is headed in the right direction for a sustainable future. In my environmental citizenship class, a group worked with an after-school program to increase sustainability education. Another group wrote a grant to fund eco-friendly lighting on campus. My group started a sustainability network within the Montana University system. Both the professors and staff on campus provide experiential learning and create change with students. Here at the University of Montana, there are many opportunities to learn about sustainability, and you can see it on campus firsthand, and you can be a part of that change. 
I have learned here that there are so many opportunities, and if there's something that you want to do, you can contact a professor or a staff member, and you can do it. Alex, back to you. Thank you, Kennedy. It is inspiring to see that you can develop your interests at UM and transform them into action. We know with UM's commitment to environmental sustainability, students like you are leading the way to a better world. Cheers, Kennedy. Next up, we're gonna hear from Lauren. Lauren is a junior who transferred to UM to study elementary education. She grew up in California and now competes on the UM rodeo team. Lauren is gonna tell us more about her experience in the arena and in the classroom at the University of Montana. Lauren. Hey everyone, I'm a transfer student from Central California studying elementary education. I first came to UM for a softball camp and right then I knew I was always meant to be a Grizz. All the recreational opportunity and surrounding beauty is what made my decision an easy one. I am on the university's rodeo team and my experience has been nothing short of awesome. I grew up in a rodeo family so it has always been a huge part of my life. I compete in the breakaway roping and barrel racing events. Being on the rodeo team has made my experience here at UM so much better because I've been able to make connections and travel across the state for rodeos. I am looking forward to our annual rodeo team fundraiser, the Cowboy Ball. It is one of the biggest Western events in the state, and our team works hard to create a banquet in the indoor practice arena. The Cowboy Ball has been a part of the program for 29 years. Our guests can bid on auction items, the rodeo team is introduced, and the night ends with dancing and live music. The Cowboy Ball is just one way that the greater Missoula community shows its support for UM students. I have really enjoyed my experience so far at the University of Montana, and I cannot wait to see where my elementary education degree will take me. Developing connections through rodeo has made a big difference in my experience here. And now, back to you, Alex. I'm out of here. <laughs> Thank you, Lauren. Competing in college rodeo looks breathtaking. You know, rodeo is just one of the many club sports that UM offers. Club sports provide students with the opportunity to compete and represent their university in the sports that they love. That was absolutely excellent. Thanks again, Lauren. Next up, let's hear from Amy a third year doctoral student in UM's school psychology program. Amy's experiential learning includes working in partnership with Montana's tribal communities. As you will soon learn, spending time in this setting complements what she is learning in the classroom. Take it away, Amy. Thanks, Alex. Hi, everyone. As an undergraduate student at a small private college back east, I became passionate about the intersection between education and social justice. My desire to help all students access and benefit from an education led me to the University of Montana and the field of school psychology. The welcoming community and immersive learning experiences made it clear that it was the best place for me to continue my studies. I've been involved in an ongoing community-based research project supporting the social and emotional well-being of Native American students in a nearby reservation community. This involves everything from sharing locally sourced meals with community members, to interviewing teachers in the district and observing elementary classrooms, to writing manuscripts for peer-reviewed publication. Collaborative research like this engages community members as partners to solve problems that they've identified. By collaborating with members of the local community, the result uniquely utilizes their strengths and meets their needs, providing the best support for these particular students. The experiential learning opportunities at the University of Montana allow me to see what community-engaged and culturally-centered education look like, helping me learn to provide the best support for students and families from minoritized backgrounds in my future career. That's all for me. Back to you, Alex. Thank you for another great example of the state of Montana as a classroom. It sounds like UM offers lots of personal and up close opportunities to learn from its indigenous peoples and create meaningful change for healthy communities. Good luck to you, Amy, and thanks again. 
Next up, we're meeting Shay. She's a junior and just started her first year of pharmacy studies where she'll earn a doctorate and follow her dreams of working in healthcare. She'll tell us more about the impact the Honors College experience has had on her studies and success at the University of Montana. Over to you, Shay. Thanks, Alex. Hey guys, I'm a born and raised Montanan and also a legacy student at the University of Montana, meaning both of my parents are UM grads. My dad played football here, so I was raised with a deep love for the University of Montana. Go Grizz! As a member of the Davidson Honors College and a pharmacy student, I have had an incredible academic experience at UM. Class sizes are small, experiential learning prepares me for success after college, there are amazing study abroad opportunities, and the professors really do take the time to get to know me as a person. Every part of the UM experience can be personalized to your interest. I've had the chance to tailor my honors college experience to classes that directly correlate with my love of chemistry and healthcare. Now more than ever, healthcare is a crucial part of society. I always knew that I was interested in a career in the medical field, but didn't know which job would fit my skills until I was introduced to UM Skake School of Pharmacy. The program really prepares you to work as a pharmacist. The professors in the College of Health want their students to succeed and provide meaningful personal attention and professional mentorship. UM feels like a big university, but delivers personal experiences that you get at a much smaller school. The relationships that I've built here are special. The faculty and staff have a genuine interest in what their students are doing and how they are doing. The Honors College Dean participated in one of my projects where we delivered food to people who are experiencing homelessness and my academic advisor checks on me often, not just when it's time to register for classes. You don't find that at many universities. Well, that's my story, Alex, back to you. That's an inspiring story, Shay. Attending a flagship university can seem overwhelming, but when you connect with the people who share your interests and passions, you find the support to reach your goals. Connection with your faculty is really important, and it's clear that those relationships have made a great impact on your success. Great work, Shay. Okay, let's hear from Jonathan. He grew up more than 2,000 miles away in New York City and chose to attend Montana because of its unmatched outdoor recreation opportunities. Jonathan graduated with a degree in wildlife biology and a minor in climate change studies. And we cannot wait to hear his story. Jonathan, how you doing? Thanks for the introduction, Alex. Growing up hiking, fishing, and enjoying nature, I knew I wanted to pursue a career in wildlife and natural resources, but I wasn't sure how I'd contribute to some of the formidable environmental challenges that we're facing. Then I found the University of Montana. Studying wildlife biology at UM puts you in the middle of cutting edge research and policy around wildlife, climate change, and natural resources. UM is surrounded by millions of acres of public land, which allows students to get hands-on experience in a variety of ecosystems. Our classes take you into the field to collect data and meet with biologists, ranchers, and policymakers, people on the front lines of some of the most pressing conservation issues. UM students also have a ton of support for pursuing exciting internships, internships that have taken me to the desert of Arizona to study endangered species, in the mountains of Montana studying elk and wildfire, and working on policy in Washington, D.C. Being part of an active community of graduate students and professors who are leaders in their field create exciting opportunities for undergraduate students. My advisor, Professor Joshua Millspot, invited me to join the Boone and Crockett Wildlife Conservation Lab, one of only a handful of its kind in the nation. I got hands-on experience studying the impacts of wildfire on mammals in Montana's amazing Bob Marshall Wilderness. And on the policy side, we lobbied the Montana State Legislature to pass a law to make hunting accessible to Montana college students. UM was the first university in the nation to offer a joint program to earn a bachelor's in wildlife biology and a master's in public administration. The combination of science and policy experience that I'm gaining through this program has prepared me for a career to address some of the most pressing natural resource challenges like climate change, sustainable energy, and land and wildlife conservation. I'm thrilled to share my experience at UM. And now, back to you, Alex. 
Wow, that was great. Jonathan is a prime example that not all UM classrooms are indoors. At the University of Montana, students learn and gain experience by doing, oftentimes in the wild places that surround Missoula. Now, Jonathan is a master student in UM's top-ranked public administration program. Best of luck to you in that, Jonathan, and take care. Tapping into one of the fastest growing entertainment industries in the world, the University of Montana is the first in the state to field an esports team. Now we're heading over to the game room in the University Center to meet Tessa, a business student and esports team member. Tessa, game on. Thanks, Alex. I'm really excited to share my story with you. I've lived in Missoula for all of my life and I've always known about the university here. But it wasn't until I heard about the eSports team that I decided it might be the right place for me to start my college studies. I'm a gamer and finding this community in my hometown is a gift. The University of Montana is one of the few places in the state that offers junior varsity and varsity levels of competitive play with teams from around the country. League of Legends is the game that I play competitively, and joining this team has improved my play dramatically. I knew when I tried out last year that I had found a place to call home on this campus. Now, I'm teaching a class for other University of Montana students to understand the fundamentals of esports. One of the things I appreciate coming from the esports club is that we are a tight-knit community of all different kinds of people. You'll meet students from every major and every possible background. Connecting with other students through gaming is a great way to make friends and learn about different opportunities here in the university. When I joined the eSports club, the director stressed that inclusivity is what they strive for. I love being a part of something that is welcoming to anyone who wants to join. During my experience in eSports, I've made plenty of connections to my business classes. I've learned how to communicate in different styles to get my point across for various people, whether it's in a game or teaching in the classroom. I am also very excited to start a new internship with the eSports program. Connecting my passion for gaming and my interest in business has made the University of Montana the best place for me. I hope that this story inspires more students to join us. And now, back to you, Alex. I love your story, Tessa. Gaming provides a platform for everyone to connect and build community, and it's great to hear about the leadership opportunities you've found within your team as a teacher. Take care, Tessa. It's time to connect with journalism major, Addie. Addie is from Helena, and she wasted no time in chasing her passion for storytelling by becoming a student reporter shortly after arriving on campus. Now, she's editor-in-chief of the Montana Kaiman UM student-run newspaper. Give us the scoop, Addie. Thanks, Alex. Hi, everyone. As a native Montanan and third generation Grizzly, the University of Montana was always a top option for me, especially with its robust honors program and top ranked journalism school. I love writing, I love storytelling, and I love connecting with people and exploring new places. I came to the School of Journalism with literally no experience, but a resolve that this is what I wanted to do. And it was one of the best decisions of my life. I've worked at the student paper, the Montana Kaiman, since I was a freshman. And now I'm the editor in chief. It's a full circle moment that means so much to me. There's never been a time more important or a tradition more fundamental than newspaper journalism. Journalism is evolving and UM is preparing us to evolve along with it. The best part about the student paper is that we're a conduit for student voices. I love talking to students and broadcasting their stories. The J School's slogan is learn by doing. And that means from the time I was a freshman, I was in the field working on improving my skills. I've covered Montana's election for the state's news service, I've worked for Missoula City Paper, and I've done marketing for Girls Life magazine. I've had so many amazing opportunities at UM, from traveling the world with study abroad programs to reporting on my own campus. UM has shown me life-changing experiences can happen anywhere. I've learned an incredible amount here at UM, but more than that, I've met a community of students and faculty who truly care about me and my education. UM has prepared me for what comes next and I hope to continue learning by doing my entire life. And that's my story. Back to you, Alex. 
Ladies and gentlemen, you heard it here first. Thanks, Addie, for that in-depth report on your journey through the journalism program at UM. You've clearly gained a ton of real-world experience during your time here, and I have no doubt we'll be seeing your byline as you transition into your journalism career after graduation. Take care. Okay, now it's time to meet College of Business student, Matthew. Matthew is majoring in Management Information Systems, and with the student support and hands-on learning he's getting at UM, he's sure to find success in this high-demand, high-paying field. As a Missoula native, Matthew took a different path to earning his degree. Let's hear his story. Matthew? Thanks, Alex. I'll go ahead and take it from here. Growing up in Missoula, the University of Montana and this great community have always held a special place in my heart. There's adventures to be found around every corner and the academic quality just lined up with my educational needs. My story is a little different. I'm a little older than some of the students gonna meet here today. I started my studies straight out of high school like most of you, but for me, that probably wasn't the best idea. So what did I do? I took a break. And that was one of the best things I could have done for myself. Got some good life experience in this community, had some fun, and it was time to go back, the University of Montana was willing to take me back. At the University of Montana, it's the care and attention for students that really stands out to me. All the professors have an open door policy to make sure the student is learning the way they need to be learning, and we have a world-class health center that is there to support your physical and mental health needs. I will graduate with my Management Information Systems degree. The U of M has one of the top MIS programs in the nation. They constantly get top recruitment from big four tech firms like KPMG, local firms such as ATG, and even companies such as Fast Enterprise work closely with the students. But save your applause, because my journey with the University of Montana doesn't end here. I'll be attending graduate school for business analytics. I'm excited for the opportunities presented to me from the University of Montana and the Missoula community. And I'm sure you'll find something to love about this great community as well. Once my schooling is finished, I will hope to stay in this great community and be able to solve real business problems and people problems with data and changing technologies alike. Thanks for the time, Alex. Thanks, Matthew. It sounds like you are on the path to success with the degree you're earning in the College of Business. It's always inspiring to hear from students who return to school and really hit their stride. Good luck with graduate school and your career in management information systems. Take care, Matthew. Well, our time at the University of Montana is coming to a close, but not before we hear from one more student. Catherine has had a deep love for Montana since she was young, so it only made sense that she make her way here for college. Tell us more, Catherine. Hi, Alex. Thanks for letting me share my story and some exciting news about the future of the University of Montana. I'm from Ohio, but I found my dream school here in Missoula. Growing up, my family called me a nature nut. I even went to high school at the Cincinnati Zoo Academy. So when I was looking at colleges, the University of Montana stood out for its awesome biology and environmental program. Plus, I fell in love with the vibe of the campus and community. My Grizz family has connected me with so many great opportunities. I volunteer at Animal Wonders, a local nonprofit, and I interned for the Clark Fork Watershed Education Program. I've even taken a field course at UM's Flathead Lake Biostation, facilitated a virtual environmental exchange program for students in Vietnam, and earned a naturalist certification through the University's Zoological Museum. Within 48 hours of arriving in Missoula, I was paddling down the Missouri River with the freshman wilderness experience, and I had so much fun that I returned as a backpacking trip leader this year. I'm also part of a lot of clubs on campus and love the DHC Ambassador Team and InterVarsity Christian Fellowship. So why choose UM? The university is awesome and it's only getting better. We're getting a new dining hall, new recital halls for our music students, and the College of Forestry and Conservation is getting a whole new building. In all, UM will see $61 million of improvements over the next few years. I'm so glad that I chose UM. Thanks to the programs and faculty here, I've developed as a leader, scientist, and advocate. Great opportunities, academics, and adventures also await you here at the University of Montana. 
See you on campus soon. Go Grizz. Okay, back to you, Alex. That was awesome. It seems like great things lie ahead for you, Catherine, and for the University of Montana. Thanks for giving us a sneak peek of UM's future. I can't wait to see how this place transforms over the next few years. Cheers, Catherine. Wow, what a view of the University of Montana. Thanks to all the students who shared their stories, highlighting the amazing resources and opportunities that students enjoy here in Missoula and beyond. Whether in the classroom, on the court or field, studying in another country or doing research, University of Montana students have incredible options and experiences. So which path is right for you? Your best next step is to visit the university's website and plan a visit. There's a great virtual tour on the site where you'll find opportunities to connect with the admissions team. And hopefully we'll see you on campus real soon. Go Grizz and take care everyone.